welcome back to the part 2 of our battery calibration tutorial now let's see the results in part 1 our battery capacity was 60% now after the battery calibration process our battery capacity has increased and it is now at 68% in my first try the battery calibration process uh, did not go well and uh, at the end of the battery calibration process it showed me a message saying that uh, battery calibration failed now let me share with you in detail what I did to make it successful Now read, read this carefully if you want to make your battery calibration successful. In the first try I charged my laptop battery to 100% at the beginning of battery calibration. After calibration when the battery was discharged fully it showed error saying battery calibration failed. After that I started uh, calibration again at 0% and uh, let the battery fully charge. After hitting 100% the battery began discharging again due to the calibration process and uh, when the battery was fully discharged I got the message battery calibration successful. So we got an 8% increase in our battery capacity. After successful calibration, I recommend that you should turn on the conservation mode. This will preserve your battery health. And uh, I also recommend that you do not use other tools like accelerate and clean uh, because they will interfere with the registry of your computer or your windows. So use only one key optimizer for battery calibration process and nothing else. So that's it for our battery calibration tutorial. If you like this video, please like and, sus like and subscribe for more content.